tutorial we'll try dyeing with red cabbage. Red cabbage produces shades of purple, blue, or pink depending on the pH of the dye bath. An alkaline additive yields blue while an acid yields pink. For this project you'll need basic dye equipment and a well-ventilated workspace. I used salt to mord the fabric and added extra salt to the dye bath. You'll need two heads of red cabbage, one tablespoon salt for every half pound of cabbage, one gallon of water, plus more to cover the fabric, six cotton dish towels, pre-washed, scoured, and treated with a mordant. Optionally, one tablespoon ammonia to make the pH more alkaline for blue, or two tablespoons white vinegar to make it more acidic for pink. I purchased the cabbage from the grocery store. Look at that beautiful color. Let's get started. First, chop up the cabbage. To create the dye bath, boil the water over your heat source. Add the cabbage and extra salt to the water. At this point, you could also add the ammonia or vinegar. Lower the temperature and let simmer for half an hour. Cabbage can be quite pungent, so I'm glad to be working outside. Optionally, strain the dye into a container. I use cheesecloth and a funnel. Return the dye to your pan. Add the wet dish towels and additional water to cover and bring to a boil. Lower the heat and let the pot simmer until the fabric is several shades darker than you want. I let it simmer for an hour. Turn off the heat and then let the pan cool. Leave the dish towels in the dye bath overnight. Squeeze out excess dye from the dish towels. Rinse in cool water until the water runs clear. Let the towels air dry. Later, run them through the washing machine without soap to make sure the dye has sat and air dry them again. Several months later, the dish towels have turned a dingy shade of white. Possible reasons? I may not have scoured the fabric properly. Salt may not be an adequate mordant for cabbage. Cabbage as a dye may not be color fast. In a second batch, I also tried changing the pH of the water. The chemical reaction of adding ammonia or white vinegar worked dramatically in the dye pot. Notice that after the initial reaction, the green calms down to a blue. And after rinsing out the excess dye, all dish towels appear blue. Several months later, they too have turned a dingy white. I admit this was a little disappointing to have seen so much promise in the dye bath and then to end up with 12 dingy looking dish towels. But this is part of the adventure of dyeing with plants. It's important to keep good notes, learn from failures and successes, and try something new next time.